Okay, this, this sermon's entitled, uh, False Teachers Exposed. I'm exposing Christopher Hill, John MacArthur, Paul Washer, Mike Desario, Dan Corner, and anyone else that wants to teach a work salvation. If you're ex I'm exposing you right now, okay? The, bu the Bible makes it very clear that we are not saved by our works. The scripture says in Titus 3.5, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. If you're trying to save yourself by your own works, you're, you're being trying to save yourself by a corruptible seed. It says in, in 1 Peter 1.23, Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. Okay? But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. The verse before that says, Now to him that... <clears throat> Hold up. Let me let me let me, just, let me just turn there. I don't want to misquote it. <clears throat> now, to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. If you're trying to work for your salvation, you you, you think God's going to have to give you a paycheck or something. You're you, you're basically working up debt. It's free. It's a free gift. You're not you're not you're not going to be saved by your works. You're saved by grace. Now, the, the Christopher Hill, a lot of these false teachers, they say, well, you know, you get your you get your past sins covered, you know, in the Old Testament it's covered, in the New Testament it's cleansed. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, my Bible says that all my sins are, are, are forgiven. Right here, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. If all your sins are not are not covered or taken care of or forgiven, whatever terminology you want to use, then this verse is a, lie, is a lie. But you guys are the liars. Paul Washer says that you can call out to call out to Christ and not be saved. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever includes everybody. Okay? Christopher Hill says, The sin must stop. And that doo -doo 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 -doo. It's of the devil, folks. He's of the devil. Okay? Anyone who says the sin must stop in order to be saved is of the devil. Okay? They're trying to be, they're, they're putting themselves under the law. Turn to Galatians chapter, um, I'm doing this all ad hoc right now. Gal this is Jack Smack, by the way. This is Jack Smack. Okay, Galatians chapter, um, let's go ahead and just turn to Galatians chapter 5, I'll show you. Now, let me, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> let's start with verse 2. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. What does circumcision represent? Works. The law, keeping the law, being circumcised. It's a, it's a work. But if, if, you, if, you're being, if you think circumcision is part of your salvation, Christ shall profit you nothing. Does it sound like the person saved? Does it sound like the person's going to heaven if Christ is profiting them nothing? No. Now turn to Romans chapter 10. <clears throat> Romans chapter 10. Now look at this. Let's, let's read verses 1 and one, one, and 1 and 2 here. Now look. Brethren, this is Paul speaking again. My heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Okay? For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. This is Christopher Hill. This is all you false teachers. Paul Washer, John MacArthur, uh, Dan Corner, who's straight from hell as well. You know, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. That's faith alone. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Faith alone. Grace. Faith. Salvation. No works. Okay? I'm coming, you know. Somebody said, I, I was scared on this. I'm not scared. I'm fired up. There's nothing to be afraid of. <clears throat> if you're saved, you have nothing to be afraid of. Turn to Revelation chapter 12. <clears throat> okay? Let's take a look at um, Revelation chapter 12. I've got to hurry because this has got to be like under 10 minutes long so I can get this on a video here. Okay? If you're, if you're saved by faith alone, if you're saved by Christ through, through faith alone... You have nothing to be afraid of. Now, you work salvationists have everything to be afraid of. Now, Paul Washer gets up in that shocking sermon to the youth. He goes, if I'm wrong, then you guys have to, you, have every, you guys need to tremble in fear. You know, if I'm right, I need to tremble in fear. Well, you're not, you know. Well, in a sense, if he's right, then you need to tremble in fear. You're wrong, Paul Washer. You're, you know, you're a heretic. Okay, you have every, every reason to tremble. Okay, now look at this. You know, John MacArthur says, he just, he, 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 he acts like he's crying when he, when he says it. I'm being attacked by all these theologians. Yeah, because you're wrong. Okay? Denies the blood. Now look at this. <clears throat> Blessed and holy is, is he that hath part in the first resurrection. That's anyone who's saved. Jesus Christ, himself said, Jesus Christ himself said, I am the resurrection and the life. You know? He that believeth in me shall never die. Okay? You, you don't have to worry about hell. On such the second death, which is hell. Okay? That's found if you keep on reading. And this is actually Revelation chapter 20, not chapter, not chapter 12. 
On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. There's no such thing as a Christian going to hell. All these heretics say, well, you've got to stop the sinning or you're going to hell. Well, fine, you can go to hell because that's where you're going. If you think you're going to stand in front of God on Judgment Day and he's going to say, well, did you stop sinning or not? No, he's going to ask you one question one question only. Did you believe that I was enough? Did you believe that, you know, when I said it is finished, that was, that was enough? To tell us, uh, it is finished, paid in full. No, what you're going to say is, well, you paid it all, but, you know, I, I, I added my own good works and I added my, my repentance and all this garbage. Okay? You guys are a bunch of phony balonies. Need to, you need to get off the cyberspace. And this video is a warning to you. You need to do some real repenting, repenting of your, you know, so-called good works that you think you're doing. You know, the, the demons believed and trembled. Yeah, but they didn't. But they didn't. Demons can't get saved. I'll prove it. Then I got to close. Demons believed there was a God. Absolutely, they knew it. they had all the information. But did demons get saved? No. Demons can't be saved. They're beyond salvation. You know, it's like a Muslim saying, "I believe there's one true God." I'm not going to give you the verses. I can't find it right now. This, you know, I got to. But, but Muslims believe in one true God. Are they saved? No. Of course the demons are trembling when they, because they know they're going to hell. And so are you heretics if you don't trust Christ the way the Bible says to trust him by simple faith alone, the faith of a mustard seed. Stop trying to earn your salvation. It's not going to work. That's all I have. <clears throat> now, I, I, I said this sermon's going to be 10 minutes long, so I'm going to add a few more minutes. Now, now for those who, who want to be saved, you know, according to how the Bible says you need to get saved, all you do is just believe that you know, Christ is enough. Now, I'm going to show you a few verses that prove that, and then, then I'm really off. Okay, now turn to... Um, Turn to Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Let's take a look at a couple verses here. Let's start with verse 20. I'm going to read all the way down to verse, um, verse 25. Okay, Galatians chapter 3, verse 20. Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid, for if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the, by the law. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. You see how simple it is? Faith alone. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Is it, is it good to do good works? Absolutely. Is it good to, rip, to turn from your sin? Absolutely. But you don't do it to get saved. You guys are not yet saved because you're still trying to work for it. It's a process. Wrong. Salvation is not a process. Salvation is an event. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. It's that simple. It's the very first time you believe you have faith, you're a child of God automatically. For whosoever, whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Put that in your pipes and smoke it, you heretics out there that are changing this message, and you're, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're doomed yourself. You're condemned of yourself, the Bible says, and people are buying into, you, into your garbage and following you like, pipe, like you're the Pied Piper of Christendom or something. You guys are just a bunch of heretics. Okay? All of you. John, John MacArthur, Christopher Hill, Dan Corner, Mike Desario, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, Paul Washer, you know, I could give you a whole bunch more, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to mess with it. These are the, you know, the guys that are on there now that are just trying to deceive everybody. And you know, this, there's this, you know, the, the gospel is simple: faith alone in Christ alone. Period. You know, by grace through faith in Christ, and then you're saved. And it happens instantaneously, and you cannot lose it, and you cannot give it back. You're eternally secure. That's all I have. Dear God, bless the sermon and reveal the truth to these to these people. Get these false teachers off. Off the line, off the off the internet. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.